Hello from Paros. Greetings. <laughs> so we are at our Paros Airbnb in Nausa. And, and it's awesome. Love it. Like, let me look at the view. Love, love, love it. This is, this is what we have breakfast to. It has a very like traditional Greek architecture. It's all white and blue. It's just like the epitome of what you think of in Greece and you couldn't love it more. And the bed is so comfortable. Yeah, it's just like, you just like melt into it. Especially compared to the bed we had in Athens, this one is just like ugh, so perfect. I was conked out the first night here. <laughs> so when we arrived, um, the, I think the funniest part about when we arrived is we got off the plane and they had a bus waiting for us. So we all got off the plane, everyone got off the plane, piled into this little bus that literally took us less than a block to the airport. <laughs> it's airport. It's a little tiny building. Terminal. It's a little, ti like, little tiny terminal, terminal building. Uh, so that was that was really funny, and then we got yeah. our car rental. And, and then oh yeah, and we get into the terminal, and we're like, oh, what baggage claim? And like, there's literally only one, and the room is like smaller than our kitchen, honestly. Yeah, our it kitchen was so at home. tiny. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. And then we started driving around the island, and uh, we were going to go to one village, but the parking was crazy because it was the port village. Yeah, it was uh, actually so really stressful. Everyone was getting on ferries, there were buses everywhere, so we just decided to abandon that and come straight to Nausa where we were staying. Yes, and we parked in the public parking lot, which was empty, all for one car. So it's such a huge night and day difference between like the port town, Perikia, and Nausa. It just seems a lot calmer here. And we're definitely and here in off season, which yeah. is awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then after we grabbed lunch, which they don't serve lunch until 1 p.m., so we had to order breakfast food for our lunch at 11. <laughs> um, after we did that, we were going to try to find our Airbnb. So I had already looked it up from the airport to know like how far away it was, and when I went into Google Maps, it said, recently searched, and it had a bunch of numbers because they don't have addresses here, and I'm like, oh, I bet that's the same one. So I just clicked that, and it took us like up like into the hills, on gravel inland, roads. on all gravel roads, super narrow, windy, up a hill, and... To this really it nice house. incredibly nerve-wracking. But it was not the right place. <laughs> and, like, I don't think this is it. And so then we searched, and sure enough, that was not the right slew of numbers for our Airbnb. So then we put in the correct numbers, and it took us exactly to the parking lot we had originally started at and told us to walk the rest of the way with our luggage. And we're like, okay, this can't be right either. She said that there was like free street parking near our Airbnb. So it took us three tries to get here. But we found it and it's worth every penny. It's amazing. Yes. Um, what are some of your highlights of your trip in Paris? Uh, I like well, one, that we're in walking distance from our Airbnb to the downtown area, but the downtown area is really cute. It's all white buildings, different shades of turquoise and blue accents, and like little cobblestone streets going through like the little winding like paths of the downtown, and like you'll see a shop here, a shop there, and then a little tiny restaurant just like tucked into the corner with I tables like out in the little pathway. We ate at, was it called Chapini's? Something like that. And it's like in a little fishing and so all the fisher boats are docked up right around it and it's just that's really cute too. That is really cute. I think our best food so far was last night we went to oh, Yemeni that and we was had so good. traditional Greek moussaka which on the outside looks like lasagna but it's not. It's layers of eggplant, zucchini, meat and potatoes and cheese. And there's like right? some like like thick cheese on the top. Really yeah, good. it was it very was really rich, but it was, tasted so good. It reminded me mm -hmm. of a casserole dish my mom makes at home, which is like cream of mushroom soup, sausage, and potatoes and cheese, but like healthier, and but still more rich. More sophisticated. And then we were debating between a couple different appetizers. We were thinking like fried fish balls or fried feta, fried feta which is another traditional food we want to try. But our waiter was like, can I give you a third option? I think you should get the cheese pie. And we're like, cheese pie? Okay, we'll do it because you're, like, you're the driver, is what you said. Yeah. <laughs> like, he should know what he's talking about. And 
It was like a crumbly cheese. We think feta, I think maybe. Yeah. I don't know. And then it had what looked like a bunch of dry noodles around the outside, but it was like really, really hair fine phyllo dough that was like crunchy, crispy. Yeah, like baked. And then it had marmalade, marmalade on top and crushed pistachios, and it was really good, but yeah. like surprisingly sweet and very rich. I would say yeah, it felt like we were having dessert for. Yeah, it was under the appetizers, but it definitely tasted like dessert. Yeah, and then while we were sitting there, like, because in, in Greece, um, they want you to just relax and enjoy your meal. So your meal could be 45 minutes to an hour and a half, and, you know, the waiters give you your space. And so we're, we're just chilling after they, they took our plates and everything, um, thinking about, well, maybe we're going to have dessert, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, a dessert shows up on our table. Yeah, we're not so sure kind. if it was meant for us. They gave us a free dessert. But at the first restaurant in Athens, they gave us a free shot of uzu. So oh, yeah. I just think that they're they're so kind here and so welcoming and yeah. great hosts. Yeah. We have enjoyed every moment of Paros. What do you think of our meal at Chapini's? It was good. Um, but it, it's, it's still a little different to get used to the, the whole fish coming to your table. With uh, scales. With the scales. And head. Head, mouth, eyeballs, teeth. Um, but the fish itself tasted really good. It was a white flaky red snapper. Mm -hmm. um, and what else did we get? We had bread. And, oh, the Greek salad was good. Oh, it the was, Greek salad was very good. There's no salad there, in the there salad. Was no, yeah, there was no lettuce. But it had like chunks of like really fresh Cucumber. cucumber and tomato and like feta. this nice olive oil with really big tasty capers and a giant chunk of feta on top. Yep, delicious. So we definitely like Greek food. Um, we haven't done any activities here on the island. No, it, it has been relaxing and reading yep. and just enjoying Paros. Yes, a lot of time on this balcony reading and journaling and then a little bit of meandering. Yeah, yep. so that's that's been it. Yeah, next stop is Milos. Next stop, Milos. Cheers.